is to hear the new voices. All the time in board meetings, it's about the artists, it's about the filmmaker, it's about the new voices. They are we doing enough for them? This is our this is the task. This is why we're here. J.D. Chandor's first feature film was premiered at Sundance Film Festival. He then went on to have the guts to send Robert Redford a script. Well, actually, I hear that it was a 30-page like storyboard. 31. 31-page storyboard of this crazy idea he had for a film. Now, the thing that really moves me is that Bob Redford, who has... There are people, as we've heard about in this room or here because of the Sundance Labs, he put his talent and his time, his muscles, and his art in the hands of someone who is making his second feature film. That's what it's all about. And that's what we to do. And I've read that Bob says that JD uh, is everything, represents everything that Sundance is about. He says that he found the film bold, eccentric, and with not a lot of dialogue. I think that could also be Robert Redford, who is bold, who is eccentric. I will add he has the soul of a true artist. He is totally authentic, and he's not a master of small talk. So I am incredibly honored to present the New York Film Critics Circle Award for Best Actor to my friend and the great artist, Mr. Robert Becker. thinking uh, earlier, God, it's tough to come in at the end of a night. So much has happened before, people have been eating and drinking, and then you have to come up and make sense out of things. And then tonight, I, I found something different. I, I found myself really lifted up, because coming in at the end <clears throat> gave me the chance to hear my colleagues people who are of my profession tell their stories, and I, I felt myself just being lifted up by the love and the passion for the work, by artists where the work is paramount. So I feel differently. Now I'm happy to come in at the end of the evening. <laughs> um, first of all, I, I truly, you know, we've heard this a lot tonight, it's it's going to be a repeat, but um, I am truly honored uh, for this uh, tribute. Um, because I, I think probably a lot of people don't know this, but my career began here in New York. Um, it began in the theater, and then the end of live television. It started to move 50 plus years ago, 1959, 1960. And that first experience in the theater here in New York was also my first experience with critics. And I had never had any, I had never been in a play before, it was my first play, and so we, we, we went out of town, and I thought, you know, I, don't, I had a small part in it, but I thought, I, I don't think this is a very good play. <laughs> and, uh, what do I know, I'm 21 or 2 years old, and I, I don't know anything, but I don't think so. And so we go out to Wilmington, we go to New Haven, went to Washington. It didn't get any better. And so by the time it came in, but you got that hurrah call, you got that locker room pep talk to the director. Hey, we're there, we're, we're coming closer. I'm feeling things. Oh. So um, I thought, well, I, think, I guess I'm wrong. Anyway, we, we get to New York, and 
<laughs> I'm on the stage and I didn't get applause. I had a small part. I said I had a speech I had to give. I walked off and I got applause. And I thought, wow. And then other people got applause when, when they got off the stage. And I thought, God, I guess I'm wrong. I guess I'm wrong. There was a tremendous reaction. After the play was over, the director came back and said, uh, Eleanor Roosevelt was in the audience. She was crying. And there was all that kind of stuff. So I thought, you know, I guess I'm wrong. So everybody comes over to Zardes, so that's what you did then. You were going to Zardes, we walked in, there was applause. And you sit down and think, well, I'm just really going to order a big here. I'm going to, because I hadn't been eating that much lately. So I said, let's have a real meal. Everybody is very up. And suddenly, a hand comes in the middle, <laughs> and it says, trip. And the agents, most of the agents, applaud for it. But you got to say, okay, I, I got it. I got it. <laughs> a bomb was dropped in the form of a plate. <laughs> went downhill from there. <laughs> when it got to me, they said, what a poor excuse for an actor I was. Um, then the agent said, well, the, I, we'll, we'll wait for the times. <laughs> Boom, times come I got it, I got it, I got it. up. What a sorry excuse for a play this was. <laughs> Suddenly, the, the restaurant emptied. <laughs> And I thought, well, that was my first experience. Don't take anything for granted. Be careful of expectations. Uh, but uh, those years in, in New York, I, I'm indebted to the fact that I began in the theater because I found out how important craft was. And what comes with craft is discipline. And um, they were very valuable, valuable to me because I wasn't the most disciplined character coming into that time. And so I, I have great reverence for theater, and of course, things move into film. So tonight, I don't think I could be um, expressing my gratitude for this award without acknowledging the role of J.C. Chandler. Um, I'd like to... To say just a word about the fact of what it's like, what, what it meant for me in this particular film to go back to my roots. A lot has happened from the first years I began as an actor for hire. Many things have transpired, some have been very fortunate, things I'm glad about, things where I could improve my lot in life. But it did take me further and further away from the very thing where I began, the very time when I began. And JC had provided a framework, it's almost like a painting that was well documented and, and well colored and so forth that you could just step into. Um, <clears throat> the fact that there was no dialogue, uh, the fact that there was no voiceovers, the fact that it was stripped clean of any kind of interference between the viewer and the character who was taking this particular journey. Um, I love that challenge because it was pure, it was like pure cinema wasn't dependent on those other things I just mentioned. Not that there's anything wrong with those. They're very effective, they're entertaining. I think they're great. But this was something rare, and it felt new, which really was going back earlier. <clears throat> For me, the challenges it presented gave me a chance to go back to my roots and appreciate something that I remember. That there was a poem by T.S. Eliot. <laughs> something to the effect of, let us not cease for exploration. And it gets to the end of it, it says that we may come to the end of that at our beginning and see it as if for the first time. And I think that's what happened for me in this film. I got so invested because I had the chance to become invested in the purest form of just being an actor again. I'm really, really grateful for that. And I, I would like to just sincerely thank the New York critics. It is a real honor. And so, good night.